All right. Good morning, everyone. Welcome. Welcome to Station 2 in Beulah. Uh, I apologize for the rain. We, we ordered up a, a clear, sunny day, and the uh, weather didn't cooperate, but uh, we certainly are glad that everyone's here. It's a big day for Beulah, big day for Escambia County, and a huge day for the Escambia County Fire Rescue. So um, I want to start out, for those who are interested in joining me in a prayer, I would ask you to stand. I'll lead us in a prayer, and then we'll stay standing for the uh, Pledge of Allegiance. Dear Heavenly Father, you are welcome here. We welcome your presence, and we're so thankful for the blessings that you bestow upon this community all the time. We're not worthy, not one of us, not one single one of us, but we're thankful. We're thankful for the blessings, the grace, and the bounty of your provision. In these difficult times and so much strife around the world, we are so thankful that you have put your arms around this nation, around this state, and around this county and this community. We're fortunate, and again, we are not worthy, but thankful. So as we dedicate this facility today, we are thankful for the bounty of the giving that allows us to construct this facility. May you bless this location and wrap this location in your grace and the men who construct it and the men who will eventually occupy it, wrap your arms around them, bless them, and bless this community. We're thankful and we continue to give praise for all, of, all that you do. And I, I offer this prayer in Jesus' name, amen. amen. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, please be seated. Thank you. Well. Again, I apologize for the weather. I appreciate the staff being able to kind of do an audible and bring us into the bay. Appreciate the, uh, the, the crew of this facility moving the trucks so we could use their bay today. But uh, this is a big day for Beulah. This is a big day for Scamby County. Um, just briefly, uh, I wanna, there's a, a long list of people that I'm gonna thank, but I just wanna briefly explain how we got to where we are today. And there are a lot of people that worked to make it happen. But, when I took office in 2016, there was a plan well underway by my predecessor, Wilson Robertson, and his predecessor, Mike Whitehead. The, the, the issue is this station is, is very old and it, it needed to be replaced. And so there was a, a project afoot. The problem was it, we didn't own the property. The property was owned by a different entity. So when I got in office, that's kind of where the, where the process was. So the first thing that we had to do was we had to make a deal to get the property. And then we had to come up with the funding and um, I'm proud to report that last night at our county commission meeting, my board members, my fellow board members and I were able to approve an $8.4 million expenditure to build this brand new facility. And I'm extremely proud of that, the hard work that went into it. But again, something like this does not happen. It's not one person, it's a team. And so I wanna take, if you will just indulge me, I wanna take a moment to thank the various people who uh, helped this effort all the way through. Because again, nothing happens with one person, it takes a team. First and foremost, I wanna thank the citizens of Escambia County, Florida. The majority of this new station that we're gonna be building is, is gonna be funded with local option sales tax. That's the money that folks spend when they buy products. Some of the, some of the uh, money was, was spent by people that don't even live here. So the citizens who spend the money, I appreciate that. We're using that money, we're putting it back into the community for something good. I want to thank my counterparts on the Board of County Commissioners, Commissioners uh, Stephen Berry, Commissioner Lumen May, Commissioner Robert Bender, and Commissioner Doug Underhill. Uh, yesterday, as I said, we had a unanimous vote to approve the funding for this facility. I also want to thank former County Commissioners uh, Grover Robinson, current Mayor Grover Robinson, uh, former County Commissioner Wilson Robertson, and former County Commissioner of District 1, Mike Whitehead. I, I do stand on the shoulders of giants and those men did a lot of work before I came into office and I just played cleanup. I also want to thank uh, our county administrator, Wes Marino. I, I pushed hard. I pushed hard on him. I pushed hard on the procurement staff. Um, the process was long, but I appreciate your support. I also want to thank our former county administrators, Janice Gilley and Jack Brown. They both worked very hard on this project as well. I would be remiss if I did not thank the legal staff, Allison Rogers, and in particular, Steve West from her office, 
It was about a year and a half long process just getting the documents necessary to acquire the property. And it was a constant, they had to deal with me constantly. I kept asking, where's the documents? Where's the documents? So appreciate their patience and their hard work. From procurement, I want to thank Paul Nobles and I want to thank Jeff Lovingood. It's a very, very big undertaking, putting something like this together, putting, designing it, putting it out to bid, and getting to the point where we are right now, so I appreciate them. And then I want to thank the finance staff, Stephen Hall and Amy Lavoy, his predecessor. They worked hard to kind of cobble together the funding, identify funding sources, and put, all, put it all together for us. And I want to thank the men and women of the Escambi County Fire Rescue, the volunteers that serve here, the career personnel that serve here, and all the personnel who serve throughout the county, and frankly, around the country. Men and women who put their lives on the line for ordinary citizens deserve our respect, and they certainly have my respect. So I thank every man and woman who serves in Escambia County Fire Rescue. I want to thank Public Safety Director Eric Gilmore. I want to thank Chief Catherine Bone, who's here. I want to thank former Chief Rusty Nail, who was instrumental in assisting us. And from Station 2, I want to thank Chief Chris Hatch, who's here this afternoon. Thank you very much for being here, running this station, running Bellevue. Uh, retired from federal civil, civil service, working out at the, at the base. We appreciate your sacrifices. I want to, I want to thank uh, Volunteer Chief uh, Mike Aaron. I don't know if Mike's here. I have not seen him, but he was, uh, he was a big proponent of, of what we're doing today. Former uh, firefighters who worked here, with whom I've uh, been acquainted over the years, and with whom uh, I discussed this plan, and many of whom helped me realize it. Bo Roderick, Anthony Summers, Ken Kersher, Reed Boss, Gavin Price, James McLeod, Chief Polkriant, and there are more. And if I've forgotten you, believe me, it's not on purpose. Uh, it's just there's a lot of people to think, and that's the danger in making a list. You're always going to forget someone, right? So if I forgot you, please uh, don't hold it against me. Um, and finally, most importantly, uh, I want to thank the, the families of Chief Dwayne Bradshaw, who I've met this morning and who I saw a couple of years ago under some, some very sad circumstances. I'm honored. I'm honored to, ha to have you here today, and I know the men and women around us are. Thank you for the sacrifice of your son to this community. We're gonna do something very good, and we're gonna honor his memory so that his sacrifice is never forgotten. So I thank you all for being here, and I really look forward to reading this proclamation and presenting that to you. And then the man to my right, Steve McNair, a man who commands respect when he walks in a room. First time I met him, I was like, wow! This guy gave more than 50 years of his life to this community. When this fire station burned down in 1977, he stepped up with his bare hands and helped rebuild it. He's a leader. He's been a leader. He's been a mentor. He's been an instructor. He's done so much in his career. It's my honor, Steve, to, to name this facility partially uh, in your memory. And I'm glad that you're here to, to take the honor. And I can't wait for two years when I welcome this family and you, Steve, and your family and we cut the ribbon on this facility. It's gonna be a big day, but today's a big day too. So thank you to the families. Finally, the CMR staff, David Harreau, Andy Gibson, Davis Wood, they're behind the scenes, putting out the press releases, organizing everything. I drive up, I get to come and speak. I get, I get the easy part. David, thank you for everything that you do. Now, without further ado, uh, I would like to introduce our county administrator for his remarks. Please join me in welcoming Wes Marino. Good morning, everybody. It's great to be here today. Uh, I have always had a very fond appreciation for this firehouse and the men and women that, that serve out of here. I've had a, a long history here in Beulah. I've lived in Beulah most of my life, and if I wasn't living in Beulah, I was going to church in Beulah. And I got to know the McNair family really well. And for me and Sherry grew up in the same youth group. Uh, Steve led the, led, led the worship in the choir for a while. And uh, really, I had the honor of, of knowing Tommy McNair and Margie McNair, and just great, a great, such a great family, such a great experience getting to grow up and serve in that church with them. And uh, in another life, I kind of stepped into what Steve did, and I thought I could lead the music for a while. And Miss Margie was our church pianist, and I'd go over there, and she would be practicing, and I'd come in with these ideas all fired up. She'd go, "Now, Wes, we can't do that." <laughs> I say, okay, but uh, it's great to be here today. The men that built this firehouse, uh, Tommy McNair and Jody McCraney, and, and I know many others, 
They poured their heart and soul in, into this and into the community. And I, I spoke at a retirement the other day and I said, you know, it's not that you just made it to retirement. It's what impact did your career have on the community? And I think the careers of the men and women that served out of here, the Bradshaw family, the McNair family, and many others have had a huge impact in this community and will forever have touched lives and made a difference in people's lives. And that's what it's all about, the community service and the heart for the people in the community. So I'm happy to be here today. It's a great event. And uh, as Commissioner said, we look, we look forward to cutting the ribbon on the new firehouse. Thank you all. Thank you very much, Wes. Obviously, we have a lot of staff that are present. Um, I'll introduce the ones that, uh, that I have on my list. And again, if I miss you, um, it's not personal. <laughs> Wait, raise your hand. Uh, let me know if I do. Um, we have Wes Marino, and uh, we have Eric Gilmore, who is our public safety director. We have Jason Catrombone, who uh, is the chief of ECFR. We have a number of ECFR personnel. We have a number of facility staff members present. Um, we have, of course, all the uh, individuals that I mentioned earlier. And I want to, I want to also recommend, uh, I want to recognize some special guests that are here with me today, elected officials statewide. Our state representative has made time out of her schedule to be here today. Please give it up for Michelle Salzman, your state rep in District 1. Thank you also to my friend and school board member, Kevin Adams, for being here today. Thank you, Kevin. Welcome. At this time, I would like to bring to the podium our uh, former director of emergency manager who got kind of uh, drafted. We had some personnel issues, and he kind of got drafted temporarily to be the public safety director, and, and now he's the public safety director. So without further ado, a great guy who just works like 24-7. He's always working. Thank you for being here, Eric Gilmore. Thank you, Commissioner. Appreciate it. And it's uh, because of the commission and because of the citizens, as you stated earlier, as this, uh, this new fire station is going to be built primarily with lost funds, uh, local op option sales tax, and that's, that's huge for the fire service. Uh, so I do appreciate that and putting the money in, in, into this project and getting, go getting it going and then recognizing the Bradshaw family and, of course, the McNair family for all their service and dedication. Um, I tried to order some good weather today, but I'm as he said, previously emergency manager, so I'm not in charge of the weather anymore. So that's going to be somebody else's task. Uh, but having said that, uh, I've been in the service for 25 years in the Scambia County Fire Service. I grew up in it. And there's a lot of old faces in the uh, building with us today, a lot of chiefs that I grew up to, grew up with and looked up to, to include Steve McNair. Uh, he actually taught me my fire standards, my first uh, fire standards when I was just getting in the fire service. So uh, anything I do is a result of Steve McNair, so you can blame him solely on that. Uh, so, but uh, Steve, did you think this day was going to come? I mean, I remember when I was a junior firefighter at the age of 12 years old, riding in the fire trucks with my dad in service at McDavid Fire Department. And then as I rose through the ranks through chief and then I've stood with these guys as chiefs as I was growing up and learning from them, we talked about this for a long time. This has been talked about for a long time, and here we are today. This is a phenomenal day for the Beulah community. This is uh, something to be proud of, and something for the men and women that work out of this station to be proud of, and all the volunteers who've come before the previous the staff that we have here now. So I am proud to be here as a public safety director representing uh, public safety and getting this across the finish line, and I really do look forward in two years cutting that ribbon as well and uh, having a great facility to service the Beulah community and the men and women who work out of it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Eric. And without further ado, I would like to hear from, and I look forward to hearing the comments from our current chief of ECFR, Jason Catrimone. Jason, welcome. Thank you, Commissioner. You know, great day. Anytime you see growth in the fire service to cover what you see going around you, um, as you drive down the coverage area of Beulah, there probably isn't a street that you don't see something, either a hole dug, wood studs going up. So this is something that's going to serve the community for years to come. 
you know, looking at the building we're in now and how long it's served and what it's been able to do, this is that next step for all the men and women that are going to come. And hopefully we can give them what they need to serve this community for the next you know, 62 to 2002, that's 60 years. So we'll shoot for 60 years. Looking forward to it. Really appreciate what the commission was able to do, putting the money together for this project that was started well before I started here, but watching over this past 11 months, seeing them work towards this end state where we can get the groundbreaking going and this building started uh, has been an accomplishment. And special thanks to all the staff, public safety director, county administrator, facilities playing a huge part in getting this project going and working with us. Um, it's an exciting day and we're really proud to be a part of it. Thank you. Thank you very much, Chief. At this point, I would like to recognize the families of uh, Dwayne S. Bradshaw. If you are here on behalf of, of Chief Dwayne Bradshaw, would you please stand and be recognized today? Thank you for being here. Thank you. And I also want to recognize an institution in Beulah, Chief Steve McNair. Chief. And I also want to thank all the citizens that are here today and took time out of your schedule to be here. I appreciate you all. At this point, we're going to do our dedication of this fire station. Again, earlier in the ceremony, I mentioned my counterparts. I want you to know the family of Mr. Bradshaw, family of McNair. I had unanimous support, unanimous support. Let me tell you, that's hard to get these days on the commission, let me just tell you. So, unanimous support in the proclamation that I'm about to read. I have two of them, they're um, identical, and one I will present to you, and one I'll present to my friend, uh, Chief, Chief McNair. So I'm gonna grab one of them, and then I'm gonna read it, and then we're going to give it to you. Whereas the Escambia Board of County Commissioners recognizes the need to construct a new fire station in the Beulah area to replace the existing and aging Station 2 and to assist with the rapid growth of the community, and whereas the construction of this facility has been fully funded and will be commencing within the next several months, and whereas Station 2 has a very long history of service to the citizens of Escambia County, and several men who have served the community working in Station 2 have made tremendous personal sacrifices for the benefit of the people living in our county, and whereas Mr. Dwayne S. Bradshaw was killed in the line of duty responding to a call on November 6, 2019, having previously performed many public service positions in his career, including serving as an Escambia County Fire Rescue District Chief and Assistant District Chief, a police officer, a member of the U.S. Army, the U.S. Army Reserves, and the United States Air Force Reserves. And whereas, Mr. Stephen McNair, recently retiring as District Chief of Station 2 after a long and rewarding career, served the citizens of Beulah at ECFR Station 2 for more than five decades as a volunteer firefighter, mentor, instructor, and leader. And he personally helped rebuild this station that we are standing in after a devastating fire destroyed the original building in 1977. And whereas the Board of County Commissioners wishes to appropriately recognize and memorialize the profound contributions, service, and sacrifices of Chief Bradshaw and Chief McNair with a significant and meaningful honor so that the community will never forget the legacy and fine contributions of these men and their families, given for the benefit of the citizens of Escambia County and the Beulah community. Now therefore, be it proclaimed that the Board of County Commissioners of Escambia County, Florida does hereby designate the newly constructed fire station in the Beulah area as the Bradshaw-McNair Fire Station from the Board of County Commissioners of Scambia County, Florida, 
Jeff Bergash, Chairman, District 1, Douglas Underhill, Vice Chairman, District 2, Lumen J. May, District 3, Robert Bender, District 4, Stephen Berry, District 5. I would ask the Bradshaw family to come up and receive the proclamation. Join me. Chief McNair, welcome to the podium. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Give it up for Chief McNair. Take, yep. I owe a lot of thanks to all the guys that over the years that have served with me at this station. I also have to give thanks to my father because he was the first president of the board of directors, one of the founders of Beulah Fire Department. My uncle was the fire chief, so guess what? I didn't have a choice. Back then, you didn't have all these child labor laws like we have today. <laughs> so I was fighting fire at 12 years old and went in my first structure fire at 15 years old. And we've come a long way since then. Back then, you went in a fire with what you had on. You didn't have bunker gear. You didn't have air packs. You didn't have helmets. You fought in your street clothes. So fire service has come a long way since then. And it's, I, you know, I want to give thanks to a lot of guys that's already passed on, Jody, uh, Paul, Joe, uh, that have all gone on. And uh, I know when we rebuilt this station, all them guys hated me because it was every weekend, all day Saturday and all day Sunday that we worked to rebuild this station. But we, we, we existed and we, 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 we held on and you know, we tried to make this a great place. Thank you for those words, Chief McNair. I would like to invite um, Mr. Bradshaw, if you would like to, to, to give some, some words to the group, I would I'd be honored to have you speak. I'd like to say thank you very much for all being here, and I really appreciate the honor, the, the memory of our son, and really appreciate Steve. I've known Steve for several, several years, and he's always been dedicated, and anything I needed, Steve was there to, to provide. I borrowed equipment from him. I've uh, spent time with, in different fire scenes with him, and he's really a, a fine individual, and I'm proud that he's, his name will, will also be added. Thank you all for coming. Appreciate those words. Well, at this time, uh, we're going to do what we're here to do. We've got shovels, hard hats set up over here. It looks like the rain has let up for a minute. Go ahead. Ladies and gentlemen, I appreciate your attendance today. That concludes our ceremony. Thank you so much for being here. We appreciate you all being here. And just join us in two years when this thing's done. We'll do this again. Thank you very much for coming.
and everyone have a great weekend. Thank you.